All right, back again with them. Fun comes Arsenal versus Chelsea. Game me sure too. We are catching that game at Azana Gardens. I'm joined by a man like Joe Sainer. Yes, sir. of course, Manchester United fan. Joe, yeah, crazy game. How? Uh, what are your thoughts about it? First of all, I, I think it's been a while since I supported my, uh, Arsenal. Yeah. And today I was backing Arsenal for the win because obviously there's a mid-table clash between Chelsea and Manchester United. Yeah. So I was hoping maybe two developers can do something for but us. I'm, I'm sorry we have let you down. But, but the but game, here's the thing. Yeah. If the intensity of Arsenal was there in the beginning as it was in the end, mm. this game could have ended very differently. For sure. I still think Arsenal were the better team than Chelsea. Yeah. It's just that Chelsea had their ball game together. Yeah. But again, I told you when we were in studio, the problem with Chelsea is when the defense falls asleep. And we have seen it today in the goalkeeper. Yes. And even in the second, if, even Trossard's second goal, yeah. no one was marking Trossard. Yeah, Gusto. And, was it Gusto or something? Gusto was yeah. supposed to. Yeah. And also, if you checked in the 93rd minute, if Nketiah would have passed that ball to Trossard, yeah. that would have been a third goal. Mazejo. But yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a good. it was a good game, yeah. you know, for the neutrals. Yeah. But I think, at the end of the day, you guys had a better chance. For sure, Maze, because yeah. I recall when I was in studio, I talked smack a lot of it. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> you, know? And, you know? And I said, this is our yard, you're going to beat Chelsea, like, yeah. start clapping, yeah. then somebody else. Yeah. We have full humble pie. Um, Declan, there are some people who are missing that game for us now. Mm. Who, who, for you, was most absent? Because Saka was silent. Uh, Jorginho was a bit off. Uh, Declan, that's even for a star for Aqua and on a kind of Ville. Who are you, were you expecting maybe a lot from and you didn't see that as much? I think I think for me it was Odegaard, bro. Odegaard. Oh my God. For me it was Odegaard, it was the distribution, it was the ball to the strikers, it was the ball to the attackers, uh, Martinelli, mm. Saka and Jesus. Jesus tried his best, he was fouled so many times. Yeah. But I believe if Od they knew Odegaard was the jigsaw puzzle that they mm. need to score a creator for us and, and they really zoned on him to a point whereby he was not in the game absent at all at completely was absent yeah, yeah and i think that's where chelsea took advantage that was one two also chelsea knew the moment you guys press mm. with your possession if you lose possession they could counter attack yeah we can counter many times chelsea counter attack mm. obviously because they could not finish very well the proficiency on their finishes yeah, were wanted, low right? It was yeah. very wanting, yeah. But one thing is for certain: if Chelsea would have had a better finish today, this game could have been very. Uh, I think we could have won. Kyle miss Jackson, he had a chance, he missed, but that, exactly. that's very typical. That, that's but now this you. leaves perfectly a chance for Spurs to go on top, undoubtedly. Oof. Friends of like, okay, Fulham, like they go on top. I'm clean. I'm guessing your friends of Fulham on Monday night. Huh? No, absolutely. <laughs> Friends of Fulham since 1901. <laughs> so, yeah, so obviously yeah. Monday night football, Tottenham versus Fulham. Yeah. I think it gives a perfect opportunity for Tottenham just to climb above you guys. Yeah, and everybody and, else. Yeah, yeah, and everybody, including... City, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they only have been beaten. Mm. Uh, but you know what? I think Fulham are about to do a surprise. Yeah. And I can't wait for that. But for tonight, um, I'm sad because you guys had an opportunity. Yeah. The same energy for the last 20 minutes. Applied it to the first 20 minutes. Then fuck the fucking button. Mazi! Sour. Game to Mazarika 70. Where? Game to Mazarika. It's terrible. But it's yeah, terrible. lastly, you're up next against Sheffield United. Correct. Uh, some of the children just passed. May he rest in peace. Surely, you have to win this one for him. We have to do it for Bobby. For yeah. Bobby Charlton. Um, Sheffield haven't won any game. They currently have one point in the Premier League. God Meaning, damn. if some of them win against us, they go to 19th. Yeah. Well, when we win, we go to 8th. Oh, Yeah, from nice. 12th to... We're top right now. Yeah. So, 3 points, 15th, I think, will go to 8th. Yeah. Which is a good position to be in, mm. in this so-called mid-table fight. Crisis. Yeah, <laughs> between Chelsea. One point behind Aston Villa was 16 points. Yeah. All right, man. I wish you all the best against Sheffield United. Brother. I just wonder when you're going to go. By you, man. For one day that I supported you. I, I'm, ah, I, I have to. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, man. We we absolutely let you down. We could have cluttered those buggers. Now my uh, question is this. Wakochini. Wakochini. Yeah. My question is this to you. Yeah. Next weekend, Manchester United are playing against Manchester City. Are you in our courts? Are you friends of uh, Manchester United? You heard it first. You have my full support. He has our full Don't support. Don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> you did it first. <laughs> Good.